<sighs> Thank God. What are you saying? I guess you are pretty hungry too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. It is finally time. It's finally time for us to continue on in the Walking Dead Telltale Definitive series, story based. Uh, multiple choice uh, try to save everybody but not save everybody at the same time uh, gameplay this is season two season two we're finally finally back I know y'all been waiting I know y'all been waiting uh, but we're back and I'm happy to be back eh? I have been thinking about The Walking Dead so much that I literally started watching The Walking Dead again. I'm on season three. Actually, no, I'm on season four now. So if you're wondering where I've been, I've probably been watching The Walking Dead. <laughs> um, yeah, we're back. I hope y'all uh, hope y'all enjoyed season one. Um, if you're new to the channel, if you're seeing this channel for the first time ever i know it, it seems like everybody and their mama's playing the walking dead right now which is pretty cool it's nice to see an emergence of uh, a re-emergence of the walking dead game um but yeah man if you're new to this channel and you like what you see you want to keep watching you know what to do sub up because it's free like the video like the video you want to tell me how much you hate it, the choices I made, or like the choices I made, leave a comment. But with that being said, let's get to the video. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! Those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Well deserved. We, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. You can leave me. It's okay. You can come with me. No, honey, I can't. It's okay. Find Omid and Krista. What do you think? Oh. oh, Mage, you can't be serious. That's good news. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. 
Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Damn, Clementine, so a, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr.? No. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? Little ass You're not kicker. taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. I didn't want to just... What was it the same bathroom? Hello? You didn't even clear these bathrooms. Damn! Oh, gross. I think... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a powerful shit during Doomsday. Ugh, what's that? how my actions of specifically me not letting Clem uh, shoot shoot Lee I'm very curious how that plays out because I did see like some people saying that that please might have water figures Me personally, when, like I said in the first season, and, and I'm pretty sure I said it in the 400 Days episode, I try to make decisions based off of intuition and just like my first, my first thought, you know. So if there are times where I kind of panic and make a decision because of oh, of time, I uh. That's on me, of course, but when I when I have the time to make a decision and I can actually like make a straightforward decision, I try to base it on intuition. Gun, no. Not gonna lie, she would do terrible in PUBG. The the person rummaging through the bag. Really, you gonna use my I gun? See you. Get out of there! You're not fooling me. Come on out now. Since silence is a valid response. What are you doing? Get out here. Well, you sound like a kid. You got anything on you? Yeah, that gun you're holding. Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. What's your name? My name? Why do you care? I... I was just wondering. Stupid. 
I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Just walk away. Whatever. Give me that hat. No. What the fuck? Where'd you get it? Mind your I damn business. You a question. I killed someone for Are it. You killed? I just want to lie. <laughs> <laughs> just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Oh, are you serious? What? If you're telling me that that was because of what something I said. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean that. God damn. If you tell me that a decision I made in the first season caused this chain reaction, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh. Chris is gonna blame me for that because it was my gun. Krista, talk to me. Damn, you've been giving me the silent treatment for 16 months? Where's the kid? This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. It's okay. I can wait. <sighs> All we do is wait. And for what? You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... So teach me? Teach me for six months? We can't build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold, or so they say. We just need to keep moving north.
We need to get to Wellington. We'll try the best we can. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Great, now I'm gonna have to do a quick QTE just to keep the fire lit. I have to light those pictures on fire, huh? That's what you're telling me? Press and hold the left mouse button to flick the lighter and push. is a very depressing start to the uh Think you're fooling here. Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. You <gasps> fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. <laughs> what the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Like Rick does. 
We'll start the season. Ooh. So, forbidden, forbidden corn dogs. What kind of animal is that? Put my hat stay on. <laughs> I got a strong bone. Krista, are you there? Snakes, bulls, cougars, bears. Oh my.
and bird. a deer. Oh. Oh. oh! Hey, bud. It's okay, boy. It's okay. I'm human. Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. How do you feel about having pets during the apocalypse? Zombie apocalypse or something like that. Hello? Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. I think if I saw it, if I saw a dog on my travels during the apocalypse, and it's a nice dog, it doesn't attack me. I think I would befriend it. If I have a dog, and the dog is is, is well trained during the Looks start like of the apocalypse, they were a happy family I, once. I, would, I hope they left some I food behind try somewhere. And keep, keep them along, but like. I don't know if I if I don't have a dog. I don't think I would go looking for one. You know? hmm, nothing edible. I do kind of think that. I, I think I do kind of think that like movies, TV shows, and <sighs> games. Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? Might exaggerate a little bit how dogs would act during something like this. I'm very curious, like, especially Not much zombies, attention right? anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Very curious, because, like, I would be afraid to, like, train a dog to be able to attack a zombie. Because if they bite it, what if that causes the dog to then change into a zombie? Like, I know when, hey, like, you want to play? They... Want to play catch? <laughs> Like games, they'll have a dog attack the walker, or zombie, whatever. Okay, bring it back. Oh. It's like, oh, oh you're chilling. Good boy, Sam. Dog ain't gonna change. But like, I think if it's a good, if it's a dog that's that will will keep keep alert, you know. Help no you help you track either. shit, help you find shit. But when shit goes down, it knows how to run away and find a safe place to hide. I think that's a good thing. But if it's a dog that's gonna attack like a German Shepherd, you might just straight up attack it. I wouldn't want it to like be biting on a walker. <laughs> <sighs> well, here we go. Oh my god. I'm thinking like Thank you. Season eleven of the Look, Walking Sam, Dead. I can. Or season ten, or whichever one. Now I just I know need Daryl gets a dog. Something to open Calls it. Calls a dog. Doesn't even give him a name. Maybe it's like earlier than that. It might be like season eight or nine where he actually finds it. Pretty useful. 
find anything yet? What's the matter, Sam? Shh, we have to be quiet. There's some dumb. No food on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything. It's okay. He's dead. Who's not? Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Stand back, okay? Damn, bro, you got a heavy skull, huh? out of their reach. <laughs> Still pretty sharp. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Damn, I can't search the pockets. One in the other. Please don't be bad. I guess you're pretty hungry too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. so confused right there of like the options damn dog uh, and, and see that right there just like changed my whole mind now the dog was cool until it, it got hungry and then y'all just made me watch this oh oh I got it. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Like I am legend. Uh, don't watch. I'm 
I'm sorry, Sam. Watch. Oh. I should, I should have muted. I should have muted. God damn it, Sam. I tried to feed you. I got this nasty ass. Oh, it's gonna get infected. How could I have done that differently? turn into zombies too I don't think even anybody has ever done like an animal zombie it's ever like Z Nation I think Z Nation I know in video games have done it you know in I Am Legend the dog turns that's why it's so I think, I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I, I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. And we were cooking some I didn't say sort it was of people. weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Damn, you sound guilty. Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi, I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! Damn. What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, 
fuck? What are we gonna do here? I've been bibbing, I'm not No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Exactly. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am what? I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. You think I'm just going to ah, turn into a zombie right now? Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? What, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? Yeah. I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. I get that, but it attacked me. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? Yeah. You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Alright, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at. Alright, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Damn, bro, you just dropped me on my collarbones? My fucking tailbone? Oh, no anatomy. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. You dropped me. Another pregnant one? Told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not worried. What the fuck? Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Why does it look like Kenny? Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Uh, Damn, that must have hurt. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Damn. Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be Shit. making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. You don't want to do something you're going to regret. Better to be sure, right? Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We can take her if it 
comes to that. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. You can at least stitch me up. Wrap it what about my arm? Shit. It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out, with it. Please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, we'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But feel like if it's infected. I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Cause what if the dog had rabies? Finger off yeah, the trigger, I'm son. I ain't your son. Of... Don't be like that, man. It's all right. I it's just feel like there's a, a clear difference between a, Come on. a dog bite and a and a zombie bite. When zombies bite, this is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, pool. I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. Full skin. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? Oh, it's I got a shark. I really do, eat. but it's too risky. Sorry. The zombie's gonna have... It's gonna still have human teeth that are flat. So it's gonna show a visible sign of... A bite mark from a... Human. Versus a dog. I feel like a doctor could tell that. Oh no. Why are we doing this? It's so fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. You're the worst out of my life. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Start stitching my arm right now. That's I could escape. I could escape. I don't want to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
to just chill. Yes. <clears throat> if I just wait. We have a doctor. He's got to have stuff for stitches. House meeting in five minutes. That's, that's it. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. Got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. I don't know why I'm being quiet like they can hear me. <laughs> I'm locked in, you know. Could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend.
loud ass steps. I feel like I should be listening to see if anybody's in there. I don't know who's gonna have that shit. Maybe I should have went for that. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. I don't have a peak option or a listen option for every bullet. Telling me there ain't no peroxide in here. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. It's not in here. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. I know the other bedroom has a person in there. Are you seriously telling me that there's no peroxide? There's a blood handprint on that. That man from time. Tell. I'm not gonna be able to tell. I don't think there's any post apocalyptic DNA test. Now, where the hell am I gonna find this? If it's not in the damn bath. Help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurt. options <laughs> I'll help you good thank you, thank you. <laughs> one of those I'm was sad. kind of a fucked up answer I'm Clementine we're friends right we can be best friends I haven't met another girl my age since way before you're so tall it's hard to be the only girl you know 
Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pink. pink. I just need peroxide, though. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. I gotta make it outside. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, I'd better get somewhere safer to do this. Sure. Okay. I don't know if me like doing one step at a time actually does anything because it's still loud. Thank you for not forcing the, some bullshit to happen there. That was Clint. at first. Don't scream. <laughs> Don't show me the vice. Okay. I ain't about to push it on my okay, vice. I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, my knife. Now the fun part. Crystal showed me. Yeah, you had to do this before. Stitch at a time. Huh? Stitch at a time. 
Put a few discretion as advice for me. It's hard. I swear, if a damn zombie hand. Woo! <laughs> Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Can I please come inside now? The shed is unsafe. What the fuck? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Hell yeah, I stole from This doesn't from. change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Went bad ass, bro. It's pretty interesting, because, like, Clem is so separated from any, any other kid her age. He's only met two, little. Duck and Sarah. Ow. But both of them How seem to like have Her not like, had any real life experience work, as far as Otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? No. If it was, the fever would have already set in and her temperature would be through the roof. Goddamn Kenny Jr. over there. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe still you still are. There. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I didn't say that. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. Well, and I would stop baby stay her, away from her. Show the real world, maybe she'll survive longer. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. I do. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted.
Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I want to go trauma for trauma real quick? Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice?
Oh, you're still here. <laughs> Rude ass. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. You wanna talk about who kid that is? <laughs> Luke invited me Who's to baby? stay. Good for him. <laughs> That's so not how too. things work They're around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. Who am I going to hate in season two? How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that, I mean oh, taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle. He lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! <coughs> Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. <laughs> boy nearly gut shot me. And of course the buck gets away. Okay. What are you going and telling this her this two shit times for? that he's he has not you had almost triggered this face bro. off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let Damn, her know it's man. nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. This dude kind of look like a GTA 4 kid. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much, and he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low.
Can I help? I got it. Sure. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Well, my detective work says anything. I think they're shot. What's this doing here? There. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Fubar. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. No. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. Just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this <laughs> outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. You shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. That always be a lookout. There. That gold teeth were just broken teeth. Cool. That was like so close to looking like Krista. Dude, they did that on purpose. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. What? No, you ain't getting this water. Damn it! Get your asses over here, both of you! I'll cover you! 
We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me once? Oh. Just one time? I've got ammo! I thought you had ammo! You influenced my decision, I thought you had- You don't know how to shoot. Pete! No! We have to go! Could have saved him! With what gun? Oh my god. I'm tired of this bullshit of y'all blaming me for y'all dumb mistakes. Next time. Oh my god. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Fucking Kenny fine. Jr. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Assuming that's Krista. Bruh. Hold on. Let me let me go let me go full screen real quick so I can so I can rant. I ain't trying to get copyrighted like I did on season one. Bruh. If there's one thing I dislike is you get you get a, an option between two people, right? It doesn't necessarily make it seem like the option is save this person or save this person. Like if you save this person, this person's going to die, etc. But then like, OK, you make the decision and the other person that you save is like why did you save me and not him like bruh okay let's think about the, the bigger picture here right the game shows me the game shows me dude's leg right dude's leg is fucked up he probably got bit alright let's say I go save him now what? Dude's bit. And now I got to deal with that shit. And Kenny Jr. is probably going to die because I chose this side. <clears throat> so now I'm losing two people, right? On top of that, y'all got Nick screaming at me saying, I got ammo. Come here. Right? And the other dude is out of ammo. So I run to Nick, who's got ammo, because I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. I don't have a knife. I might have still had the hammer, but what the fuck was I going to do with 20 damn zombies surrounding me? So, okay, of course I'm going to go to the person who's actually going to be able to do some shit, right? And, I've, and like, me going to him didn't help him out. I just dodged some zombies, and he, you know... He shot him while I was dodging him. Like, it, my decision. <laughs> On top of that, right? Because <clears throat> I, I, I'm forgetting the dude's name. The older guy, the uncle. His initial, his initial, the, the first thing he said was, get over here. Talking to both of us. He's talking to both of us. Get over here so that we can, we can get to safety on this side of the river so i'm assuming i'm assuming that now okay i'm gonna go over there nick's gonna come follow me but then they showed me that it's a decision between two and now i realize okay it's not gonna happen that way i now gotta pick one person to survive but that that shit is annoying that shit is annoying that i make the decision which like either way what was going to happen was going to happen 
to whoever I went to apparently. But then the, the character blames me. Why are you blaming me when you 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 could have did something too? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. That shit happened way too much to Lee. Lee got blamed for everything. And now Clementine's gonna get blamed for everything, apparently. This is gonna be a great season. <laughs> but damn, I wasn't expecting this episode to be that short. It's only an hour and a half. A little less than that. A little less than an hour and a half. Um but yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'm I'm assuming the season's gonna be kind of on the short side. Just based off that, I know there's still five episodes, but if the episodes are this short, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's going to be it for season or episode one of season two. Uh, please don't flame me in the comments about my decisions. Actually, I don't care. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> the decision has already been made now, so it doesn't even matter. Um, but yeah, I am. I am curious, though. Was Omi gonna die regardless? Was there anything that I could have done to help that situation out? And I'm talking like in season one. Is there anything that could have changed that outcome? I feel like it didn't because the way he died was literally, unless I could have picked my gun up before going to get grab my water, then that's different. And I kind of feel like that might've been an option, but if it's not, if the option's not there, uh, I can't imagine most people checking. Uh, but yeah, that's my rant. That's my rant for season, season two, episode one. Uh, yeah, I will see y'all in the next episode, uh, which will be shortly coming soon. Um, I post these, I don't post these daily and that's mainly just like for a YouTube thing. Um, if I post them daily. Yeah, if you know YouTube, you know. Um, so yeah, expect the, the next episode in a day or two. But yeah, that's it. I will see y'all episode two.